And the final group of agents for change are people that we are honoring for amplifying voices on the ground. These honorees work every day to give voice to those in our communities facing injustice. They live in those communities. They work there. They see there. They breathe there. They keep on the pulse. They keep close to the heart. And they key in to issues as they emerge. These are the leaders who first see what we have to continue to fight for. And so please join me in recognizing Jojo Annabelle. Verdon Drapal, Rose Eng, Wayne Ho, John Liu. Erica Ramirez. <laughs> Helena Wong. <laughs> and to say a few words on behalf of the group, Liz Ouyang. I am so proud to represent and be a part of this cadre of grounded individuals working to empower our communities. Now I want everyone's attention in this room because we are the grounded people and we're not going anywhere until I finish my speech. So I want everyone, do I have everyone's attention? I mean, come on, at the end of the evening, would you rather be with grounded people or a bunch of flighty people? <laughs> the letters C, A, R, E defines us. C is for commitment. We don't know what a nine to five job is. Our commitment stretches us thin into many different roles. Look at Noylan Abasamis Mendoza. On top of her job as health policy director of CACF, she serves as a member of the mayor's immigrant health task force and office of immigrant affairs language access work group, New York City Metro Regional Advisory Committee for the state's health benefit exchange and the Medicaid redesign team. And then there's Jojo Anabil, the leader of the Immigration Law Unit at the Legal Aid Society, who, who works with AFI to handle complex immigration cases. On top of his job at Legal Aid, Jojo is an adjunct professor at NYU Law School's special counsel to the State Supreme Court's Disciplinary Committee on Immigration Affairs and co-chairs the State Bar Association's Committee on Immigration Representation. A is for advocacy. We've got the advocacy gene. It's in the air we breathe and the dreams and nightmares we have. And we want our energy to be contagious. Successful advocacy campaigns include former executive director of CACF, Wayne Hoes, groundbreaking, and I mean groundbreaking, 13% and growing coalition that advocated for a fair share of the city's budget to reflect the size and needs of the growing Asian American coalition. And then there's OCA New York's efforts to lead the two and a half year fight for justice for Private Danny Chen, a 19-year-old soldier found dead in Afghanistan after weeks of unrelenting hazing and racial maltreatment by his superiors. Afi was an important coalition member in this effort. R is for rooted. 
We know the community we serve, and we are so proud to give back to it. A New York City public school educator for 33 years, Rose Ang has served on AFI's board for seven years. On OCA New York's board as executive VP, secretary, and treasurer, and member since 1980. And the board of Pan-Asian Repertory Theater. Vernon Japal, a technology information security analyst at Citibank, has been volunteering for AFI for seven years, coordinating volunteers to help Flushing's residents pass their citizenship exams. A New York CARES team leader, Vernon has completed over 200, 200 projects, and his employer, Citibank, is part of the AFI group. <laughs> Give it up for Citibank. E is for enduring. Helena Wong's uphill battle fighting gentrification, community development, land issues, and police violence with CAV, Grassroots Global Justice Alliance and Grassroots API Rising is Endurance with a capital E. <laughs> and Erica Ramirez, a senior at Flushing High School and member of AFI's Youth Leadership Program, is now a peer college guide helping students and parents navigate the college application process including financial aid. And Jan Liu, former high school valedictorian and recipient of the Civil Leaders of Tomorrow's Public Policy Fellowship, teaches ninth grade algebra classes at Clara Barton High School and is a college advisor seeking to obtain a major in bilingual childhood education at the City College of New York. As long as we have unfinished business, and our community needs to be empowered. It is advocates, it is people on the ground who will continue to fulfill AFI's missions at the grassroots level, helping low-income individuals empower themselves, educating funders and elected officials on the important needs of our community, and most of all, advocating for fairness, respect, and equality for all. Thank you, for valuing, thank you for valuing our work by honoring us tonight, and long live Asian Americans for equality.